All right, everybody. Uh, we'll open it up for uh, questions for Coach Grayson. Coach, uh, this weekend was kind of about, about what team could finish there at the end. I think what TCU won the last two in game, match one, y'all won the last three in match two. What changed in terms of the way y'all were able to finish off the match? Um, we got our defense in order. Um, both matches, our offense was pretty good. I think we had a little more offensive definition in the second match. And I just overall, we just carried ourselves a little bit better, you know, a little more confident and um, I think we were a little irritated with ourselves from not winning the first match. And so when we got a second chance, we were all about it. We keep talking about it, but is, is that almost an interesting thing? Because there's, I can guarantee there's probably a lot of matches you come out of it irritated that you didn't win. We don't get that second chance. Is it nice now to ha have that second chance and be able to make up for it? Yeah, I think anytime you lose a match, you don't want to sit on it for too long. And so this format, I think it benefits the team that loses the first match a little bit more, honestly. Um, if you win the first match, you're ready to be done with that team and move on to somebody else. But if you lose, you want another crack at them right away, you know. So, yeah, I think that that's it for most part. Um, we keep talking about her, but Samantha Sanders, not again, up there and leading the team in kills, but not only that. I think she was up there in digs and uh, what kind of multidimensional ability does she bring? Because obviously, you know, you want to bring someone in who, who can replace or, or at least come close to Emily's production in the kills area. But what does she, did you know she was going to bring that ability to dig it out as well? That was the goal. We wanted somebody who could be a six row. And, um, and what we liked about Sam was just that she could score from, anywhere and so we really liked her back row attack and um you know we wanted to see how far we could take her ball control and her defense and so far it's been working out pretty good but this past weekend was really nice to see her offense really bust out you know this is what we see from her every day and uh and so for her to put two matches together like that was pretty big obviously next up you kind of know who's there on the schedule uh Baylor we know we see the number that's next to their name uh, but just take us beyond that. What makes them so good? Well, they've got elite talent for sure. You know, they've got size and there's just not a part of their game that you would look at and say, yeah, that's a weak spot. You know, they're, they're pretty well-rounded um, and they're more than just one offensive player. You know, they've got a lot of balance and players who can carry it and they're a great serving team. And so, um, yeah, you put it all together and they're a handful. So, you know, we got to come up with a good game plan and, and just be ready to, to go into attack mode against them. Maybe this is the wrong way of thinking about it, but when you have a team that has so much talent that you're going against, in this world where they kind of, you know, don't have as much on you, do, do you are you tempted at all to kind of throw them off that first match and kind of do something different, or do you have to remind yourself, no, we got to stick to our game plan? Well, it's a little bit of both because you got to be you and we got to play to our strengths. But at the same time, you know, it's always a good idea to throw a wrinkle in there. And whether that's a lineup change or just how we start or what we're trying to do offensively, whatever it is. And so I think, you know, how we scheme them out is going to be part of the conversation for sure. Yeah, we want to make sure we show them something they hadn't seen before. We had a lot of the conversation early on be about maybe how you guys haven't gotten as much practice time preseason as, as usual. With that being the case, is there anything through the first, what, four or five weeks that's maybe surprised you about this year's? Uh, they've got a good bounce back to them. You know, I feel good about how, you know, we can handle whatever happens from one particular day, and then we're a better version of ourselves the next day. Uh, this team definitely has a conscience, and so they want to be great, and it's not hard to get them there. You know, there's, there's always things we're trying to get better at, but I do appreciate how they carry themselves and what they bring into the gym every day. And it's never a struggle to try to get them on board with anything. Last one, I guess. Uh, how much does we think about it just from the, stand, the standpoint of this year? But how much does a year like this help a team, not only this year but two or three years down the road? Because you'll, if you don't know how to bounce back, you'll learn how to bounce back with back-to-back -back games. Every yeah, you don't have a choice, right? If you don't adapt and get better and make quick adjustments, then you're going to get rolled the next time out, and so. Uh, we're learning really quickly how to kind of turn things around fast and put things aside and focus on the next one, you know. And um, and so, again, I, I've, I've kind of been a fan of this format since we started with it. This has been 
a pretty cool challenge for us as coaches, but it's been uh, good to see how we've handled it too. And um, I don't know, I'm, I'm having a good time with it this year. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you want it on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Say something. Oh goodness. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, we got Samantha Sanders here, so we'll just open it up for questions. Samantha, uh, coming into a new team in this kind of world that we live in, more difficult than you thought, less difficult than you thought? Mm. Uh, a little bit of both, I would say. Definitely just the way everything's going, like playing back to back days. It's difficult, it's tiring, but then it's also kind of working to our advantage to get to like learn from the first day and then do better the next day and just make those adjustments. So I kind of like the way the schedule is and then coming with the new team. I love this team. So it hasn't been difficult at all. Uh, in terms of, I guess, when you, when you think about the SEC and Big 12 and maybe football and basketball, you know, there's different types of styles that they play. Is it, a, is it the same thing for volleyball or is volleyball volleyball? I mean I think volleyball is volleyball, like in terms of just the way that we play volleyball here compared to other places. Is that what you're asking? Sorry. Yeah. Like when you think about, I guess, in terms of like maybe more mainstream sports like football, you think the SEC defense, the Big 12 offense, uh, is it the same thing with volleyball or is it just all this? I think um, Parts that are the same, the block in Big 12 is bigger, I think, and um, everyone's good in the Big 12. So it's definitely, I think, just a lot of competition, but every team's good, so. For someone who hasn't watched you, what kind of player are you? How would you describe yourself to someone? <laughs> um, I would say I'm a very aggressive player, but I'm not overly, like, talkative. I just kind of mind my own business, I guess, and try to get my job done. But I'm very competitive. Came into this team, how did Coach Greystone kind of describe the role he wanted you to play? Um, I think it was a pretty big role. I know that Emily Hill was here last year and she was a huge, you know, key to this team. And so I think just to be a six row and come in and try to, you know, use my um, offense, I knew that was going to be a big role. So. I was excited to fill it, hopefully. And then for you, uh, I mean, this weekend, just statistically speaking, it seemed to be your most consistent weekend leading the team in kills both matches. Is that just showing how much more comfortable you are than maybe even two or three weeks ago? I think so. I think that <laughs> just with what all, you know, this year has been like, it's definitely kind of, I was nervous the first week to play, but um, I've gotten more comfortable and I think I've kind of figured things out with just how to use my strengths and fix the weaknesses that I've kind of showed in the past. But I feel like every single week as a team, we're getting better, just working together better and everyone's playing a key role in like blocks or defense. So I think that we're all kind of working better together as a team as we continue to go on. If you base it purely on rankings, this is gonna be y'all's toughest opponent to date what have you seen from Baylor or what have you heard about Baylor that makes them so tough well I've heard that they are a really good serving team and I've also heard that their offense obviously with you know Yasiana Presley she's amazing and so just um, they have a lot of big players and I think that a big thing for us this weekend is just not being scared of the block trying to use the block to our advantage tool off of it and um, you know not being scared to go up and swing big the last one, uh, this past weekend seemed like a tale of two matches in terms of who could finish. Because, you know, TCU winning the last two and y'all winning the last two. What changed in your ability to kind of lock down those final three matches on uh, in the second match that maybe you guys weren't able to the first time around? I think that, I mean, we were down almost every single match at the beginning, but I think that just the energy that was brought into those games um, and the fact that our team is so deep, so you can put anyone out there and they're going to, you know, get
get their job done. I think that we were just so determined to beat that team because we knew that we were better than the day before. So just um, using everyone, like I said, and then just having that energy. It was so much fun playing that second day. And so I think we were all just having fun while competing. And that was the difference. How do you feel about the back-to-backs? Uh, obviously, it makes you learn to bounce back if you don't already know how to do that. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I think it does give a lot more opportunity instead of, you know, waiting a few weeks to play that team again, you can do it the next day and just know what worked and what didn't work. And um, I think that's what it is. So, I mean, it's difficult for both teams because they're both learning from each other. And so it, it, like the next day, there's so many differences from our team and theirs, but I really like the schedule the way it is playing back to back. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. Thanks, Eric. We'll talk to you later.